Oh my god, it's actually happening, guys. The gameplay event for Fallout 76 is underway right now. As indicated by Pete Hines out on Twitter, he says, Almost heaven, hashtag Fallout 76. And that building there might look a little bit familiar because they are in West Virginia right now. And yes, uh, that is the Green Briar, of course, as you see here from Fallout 76. It will be making an appearance in the game itself as well. Uh, so I'm totally hyped right now because I'm seeing YouTubers, streamers, uh, you know, media, all saying they're in West Virginia right now. They're teasing stuff out on Twitter everywhere saying that they're up to something special. And uh, yeah, that could mean, of course, they've already recorded gameplay. They've gone on tours around uh, West Virginia, maybe. Uh, but also, you guys are wondering, well, when is the gameplay coming? Sure, they've recorded gameplay, uh, perhaps. Maybe not all of it. Maybe it's still underway as of right now. But when is this gameplay releasing? We've got to see this. And uh, that was the question by Rusty Bit. He says, hey, Pete, why does Fallout 76 barely have any real gameplay, but Doom Eternal, which releases uh, way later, has a very well done demo shown with real gameplay? P. Hines responds, of course, he's from Bethesda. He says, in about a week, there's going to be like 400 hours of Fallout 76 footage to watch. End quote. Wow. That is a lot of gameplay footage to digest. Believe you me, that is absolutely crazy. Uh, so yeah, look forward to breakdowns uh, here on Open World Games. Uh, all the footage from Bethesda. Remember, uh, smack that bell icon when you subscribe. Don't forget to follow me out on Facebook as well because I'm gonna be streaming the hell out of Fallout 76 when it releases. It's gonna be a total fun. I hope to do also like community live streams, play a few guys as a squad and stuff like that. But also, I wanted to go over your reactions related to one of my most recent videos about the beta and the beta time frame of it being basically only four to eight hours per day. Got various comments. Some of you guys seem to have really been offended, I guess you would say, by this. And then some of you didn't even mind. So let's talk about that right now. But yeah, totally hyped over here today seeing uh, this event underway. All right. So this comes from Skin Nuts, who says, I thought it was called beta break it early test application. The key word here is early. Nobody wants it to break right before launch. Sad face. Uh, yeah, I hear what you're saying, uh, of course. Um, I don't know, it just seems to be a common trend with games, especially online games, these live service games, to expect it to be half broken uh, when it releases. I don't know why that's an acceptable practice, of course, but... Hopefully they get this stuff nailed down pretty quickly and that this beta, at least in terms of the server stability, really helps out with stabilizing the launch of the game for us. Uh, because they did indicate that uh, a, an internal type beta has been going on uh, inside of Bethesda for months and months for the uh, game breaking glitches and stuff like that. So at least there's that. That's good news. This beta right here that we're uh, going to be experiencing in October is going to be more about those servers. All right, next comment comes from Sniper Spartan 3 who says, Personally, I'm not that mad about the limited beta times. I'd rather have the servers all crash once or twice during the beta than after launch. Great content as always, though. Thanks for the update. It's like a drug. Glad you're enjoying the update, man. And yeah, see, I hear what you're saying there. Uh, they would rather have it crashing during this test phase uh, when they're, you know, warning you that it is going to crash. Don't expect, you know, to go into this beta with it working perfectly there may be you know this four to eight hour period where the beta is like i don't know it might be barely playable i'm assuming by the way they're saying and talking about this it's going to be rough with this beta it's going to have issues and we're, we're there to break it we're there to kind of uh help them fix it in other words so it's kind of like early access i guess you would say uh so they're trying to really warn us about that i constantly see these twitter posts from bethesda and uh, the team out there saying uh, it's basically a warning that, yeah, you guys are here to break it. All right, next comment comes from Roger, that boss. He says, let's all just grab a Nuka Cola and relax at an Open World Games of Beyond. You deserve to be in the 1 million sub bracket. Your quality in video and daily upload have not gone unnoticed by your subs. Thanks for the constant update. Seriously, guys, I truly appreciate the compliments. I really do hope you're enjoying the content. But he has the attitude of like, guys, relax. We're all going to still be playing the uh, main game here at launch. And hopefully, you know what? 
uh, later in the beta phase, uh, hopefully like a week into it, the servers are noticeably more stable. I'm crossing my fingers that that happens because I don't want the beta to end where the servers absolutely are horrible then I don't know how that's going to bode well for the uh, launch of the game. We'll see. But yeah, even with Red Dead Redemption 2, they're holding their own beta uh, as well. And I'm expecting that to be extremely rough, just like the GTA Online beta. Like I said, it just seems like to be like this common theme in the gaming industry related to these live service games. It's a bummer for sure, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. All right, next up, we got some more top comments here. This one comes from Clockwork Analog, who says, Seriously, I'm a PS4 player. The beta comes out on the 23rd and on Xbox and 30th on PS4. My wedding and my honeymoon starts on the 28th and will not be back in my home till November 14th. Congratulations, by the way. He goes on to say, You don't see me complaining. I am second shift two, working 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. prime time. People need to lighten up. I know I paid for this too, but I know life isn't fair that is true by the way and he says i just look forward to my chance to watch people man maybe i'm just jaded and used time being uh crapped up for me i mean hell i just got summoned for jury duty on the 23rd so yeah timing hates me i have been there man i feel you i know what it's like but yeah hopefully you know my opinion is uh to kind of alleviate some of the stresses related to this and in the community i think maybe like i've said before they should have uh, two days of the week, 24 seven. Um, I'm crossing my fingers. They consider surprising us with that, or at least, you know, a day say, hey community, you know what? We love you so much. We're late later into the beta phase here. We're gonna open up the servers for 24 seven for you, enjoy. So I'm hoping that that can happen one day, something like that, where we can all get on there and really just party and enjoy. Next top comment comes from Jesse who said, they already messed up releasing the beta three days before Red Dead Redemption 2. No one's going to even be playing it except the three days until Red Dead Redemption 2 is out. Bethesda really messed up with this one. End quote. We got 27 up, folks. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this is going to go down. Fallout 76 versus Red Dead Redemption 2. The big behemoths uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe in a true boxing match, I guess you would say. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to witness. Now, the thing is with, uh, you know, uh, Bethesda's Fallout 76 versus Red Dead Redemption 2 is Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to initially start out single player. And I know a lot of people are going to be uh, dying for that single player experience. But you got to remember, there's also going to be players that really just want a multiplayer experience as well. So in that way, I think, uh, you know, there's going to be uh, a diverse crowd going to both uh Red Dead Redemption 2 and Fallout 76. I know I'm going to be in both, but uh, I'm really honestly looking forward to uh, right now Fallout 76. There's something about the Fallout universe for sure. I'm going to be playing both again, uh, but uh, man, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough choosing. Let me know if you could only choose one, which one would it be? Fallout 76 or Red Dead Redemption 2, or are you going to be in something completely different? Perhaps. Uh, the blackout mode in uh, Black, o Black Ops 4 or even, you know, Battlefield 5. There's a lot of games coming up. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is out. Tomb Raider. Spider-Man is still selling hot. I mean, this fall is truly an amazing, crazy time for gamers for sure. We are totally spoiled. All right, let's go over the next top comment. Uh, Oxy Prototype who says, I started laughing when I read the beta info with 48... Four to eight hours watch the servers won't be able to handle the influx of players trying to get in and play queue time bugs will might just break the game maybe rough info well the xbox one being first we will wait and see 10 up votes uh yeah the influx of players during that time is definitely the goal is again to really break that server and to see if it can even handle the most popular times in uh, you know, Fallout 76, which I think would be, of course, the launch. When they announce big events, you know, like, uh, hey, there's a new creature or something like that that is in Fallout 76, go find it. Uh, those world events are also something that they're going to be testing big time because that's going to be where all the players on the map are going to be uh, emerging on one spot. They want to see how the servers can handle that type of action and that type of uh, gameplay. So, 
we'll see what happens. I'm hoping uh, that although I know it's going to be really uh, rough, I hope it's not too bad. You know what I mean? I hope this is not like a complete disaster, but we'll find out together, won't we? So we will see what happens here. Uh, cross our fingers that this game ends up being good in time because uh, it is four times freaking bigger than Fallout 4. Yeah, so again, look out for that gameplay. Something, something is going on. It's indicated by Pete Hines. I will have all the news here, guys. Don't worry, I have your back. It will be happening. It's happening right now, in fact, this gameplay event. I just want to see the gameplay, man. It's killing me. They, they did this teaser trailer right here. They showed basically absolutely nothing. You can't really, uh, you know, find any type of Easter eggs hidden with here, in here too much, except that everyone is emerging. All right, guys. Uh, thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Remember, I will be streaming again to facebook.com slash open world video games i've had a blast doing that you can find all of this all of this in the description below i'll include it as a top comment as well with important links and by the way i do want to mention read over that beta fact i know a lot of people think i'm joking here but seriously read over that beta fact i don't want you guys missing something so i'll throw that as well in the description below uh, that's going to be super important to read over to make sure you know how to redeem your code if you even need to redeem your code and how you can uh play the beta all right guys thank you again and i will see you guys later and yes soon enough in the wasteland take care everyone see you guys next time